Digitalis toxicity, digitoxicity, is quite uncommon nowadays compared to what it used to be earlier. This is mainly because of the decrease in usage of digitalis glycosides as better agents are available for the management of heart failure. Moreover, only lower doses of digitalis glycosides are being used if at all and there is better awareness of conditions predisposing to toxicity. Diuretics causing hypokalemia worsen the arrhythmias due to digitoxicity. Hypomagnesemia also worsens digitoxicity. Drugs like verapamil and amiodron displace digoxin from plasma protein binding and hence the active blood levels. As the excretion of digoxin is by the renal route, renal dysfunction is an important predisposing factor for digitalis toxicity. Though life-threatening cardiac arrhythmias were the most important adverse effects seen with digitoxicity, the most common ones were anorexia and nausea. Ventricular bigemony due to ventricular ectopics was the commonest arrhythmia of digitoxicity, though the most classical one was bidirectional ventricular tachycardia. Almost any form of cardiac arrhythmia can occur in digitoxicity except Morbid's type 2 atrioventricular block and atrial fibrillation with a fast ventricular rate. The former because digoxin does not affect the conduction in the infrahesian conduction system and the latter because digoxin decreases the ventricular rate in atrial fibrillation by blocking the fast conduction in the atrioventricular node due to its vagotonic effect. Bidirectional ventricular tachycardia is an abnormal fast rhythm originating from the ventricle. It is named so because alternate QRS complexes, electrical activity of the ventricles, have opposite directions, one being upwards while the other is downwards. It is conventionally mentioned that the mirror image correction mark type of STT changes occur in digoxin effect in the leads corresponding to the dominant ventricle while the changes occur in other leads as well if there is digitoxicity. Arrhythmias due to digoxin toxicity can be life-threatening and difficult to manage. Direct current cardioversion in the presence of digitoxicity can lead on to more complex arrhythmias and ventricular fibrillation. Sandopsia or yellow vision was an important feature of digitoxicity on our